I thought I would give you an update on the uh, road trip with the autopilot self-driving Tesla. I guess I should be with no hands here, right? Because that's what we're talking about, is the revolution of the self-driving car. And it is really close. I gotta say, I am very, very impressed. I drove out to, uh, well, I shouldn't say I drove, the car drove. Uh, the car drove, the Tesla Model S, drove me from La Jolla, California to Scottsdale, Arizona, and now I am driving back, and it is pretty darn interesting. I've got no hands, no feet. We are going along the highway here on the way to San Diego, and um, it is pretty darn amazing. It really is. I will tell you, though, that I think the jury on this whole electric car thing is really out at least for me, because it's a bit of a hassle, you know? It really, it really is. I mean, you certainly have to get used to it, I guess, when um, people went from horses and carriages to automobiles, they thought stopping for gas and finding a gas station was a hassle. Probably, that's extremely possible. And I'm trying to be open to that idea. Now, if you're, if you're just using this on a normal daily basis, and you're not doing a road trip as am I, and your car is at home in the garage, it's plugged into the charger, you take off, you drive around during the day, at night you plug it in, that's really simple. But going on a road trip of, uh, you know, 300-ish miles is a little more complicated. Um, I will say that the Tesla interface with the GPS, it's, a, it's a basically Google Maps with a Tesla overlay, does a very good, very elegant job of presenting each charging station along the way. And they're free, of course, but uh, you do have to wait. You know, the battery takes time to charge. With the supercharger, uh, it's very quick, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, it's not as quick as a gas station, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, you can, you can stop, and um, sometimes it'll say just stop for five minutes. And every car should, even internal combustion engine cars, should have an app. You know, you have an iPhone app for your car. It alerts you to when your car is charged and ready to go. Uh, even when it's just charged enough to go to the next phase of your trip and continue it. Um, and uh, there are a lot of great things about the car. It's incredibly fast. I mean, it is amazingly fast. And, uh, you know, really you pull G-forces when you pu push on the accelerator. Uh, so that's amazing. The autopilot is amazing. Again, you, you really do get a little bit bored, uh, although I think driving's kind of boring. I'm listening to some great audiobooks here along the way, listening to some music. Coco's back here. Hey, Coco, say hello to our friends here. Coco, hey, come here. Coco, there she is. You see her? Yeah. Say hello, Coco. See if I had a tree for you, you'd probably come up and say hello. Oh, oh. Uh, but this is, I tell you, this is a game changer. The self-driving aspect, which is really the reason I bought the car, is, uh, you know, I placed a $110,000 bet on this, and I think it is phenomenal. Really a phenomenal feature. So uh, that works. And, you know, it works in the city, too, even though they say it's not really usable for that, but it does work. There have only been two instances on this trip where I had to take over, where I thought the car was going to crash us, you know, one time it changed lanes when it shouldn't have. There was a car right there. I don't know how it made that mistake. Uh, and another time, uh, when you're driving in the right-hand lane on the freeway or highway, and when there's an off-ramp and it loses that lane marking, which is what it does, it reads the lane markings. Uh, when it loses that, it gets kind of squirrely. It doesn't know where to go, you know? So uh, that these are problems. Now, Elon Musk believes that the car can become completely autonomous and self-driving based on the hardware kit it has now. I don't know. We will see. You know, the camera up here reads the street signs. It reads the speed limit signs. Very interesting there. Uh, I, I hope he's right about that. I hope this can be a completely autonomous vehicle, and um, that is a game changer. You know, I talk on my Creating Wealth podcast and on the other podcasts as well extensively about the idea of the self-driving car and how it rewrites the rules of real estate, which always have been location, location, and location. Since the beginning of time, those have been the three cardinal rules of real estate. The self-driving car, I say, is rewriting those rules. All right, that's enough for now. It says we have got 
we're going to have just 9% power left when we get to the next charging station. Again, this is kind of a hassle, this stuff. Uh, so more to come on that, but uh, there are some other great perks. Over and out.